drink. Nope, only one to a customer. Oh, Ruby. Oh, Pete. Come on, Ruby, sit down, have a drink. No, thanks, I never travel steerage. <laughs> How's it going? Fine, baby. Hello, have a drink. Ruby. I'll buy a drink. Come on, it ain't the first time. All right. You're looking swell. Singapore swing. Whiskey. Well, that reminds hey, me. Hey, don't give me that. Sit down. What's the matter with me? You ain't good company even when you got money. That's all a dame like you thinks about money. Well, it ain't a bad thought. You ain't going nowhere. If I was good enough to drink with last week, I'm good enough to drink with now. The sooner I comb this dive out of my hair, the better. Oh, seeking fresh fields to conquer, eh, Ruby? Well, not having your education, Mr. Williams, I'd say I'm just plain homesick for Shanghai. You don't carry passengers on that packet of yours, do you, Bucko? Well, I might. If I could get an answer to a couple of questions, we might all be going to Shanghai. Well, ask me. I know everything. Well, really? Well, do you know why Black Mike Rafferty is loading his schooner to take a Portuguese sailor by the name of Pharaoh on a long cruise? Oh, uh, what's that got to do with Shanghai? Black Mike smells pearls. Why, he's had more luck in finding virgin pearl beds than any man on the coast of China. And he's not the type to take a six-month cruise just for the sake of his health. And he don't talk. Hey, now you're a smart girl, Ruby. And I've got a hunch that if you can get that ferret to talk, why, Shanghai would only be the beginning for you and me. But there's other countries in the world besides China. And real jewelry instead of that junk you're wearing. Yeah, so I heard tell. Is Pharaoh that Portuguese with the knife scar on his cheek? Yes, he's a gentleman. It's funny, he's been trying to talk to me all week. Oh, has he? Yeah. Has he? <laughs> I'll be back. Hello, sailor. Expecting somebody? Oh, no. Only my partner, Black Mike Rafferty. Black Mike? I didn't know Black Mike took partners. He took me. We we're going on a voyage together, on business. Good luck. Two double brandies, the best. A girl like you should have only the best. A man like me would see that she got it. <laughs> With what? Don't laugh. When I come back from this cruise, I'm going to be a rich man. Say, Black Mike's a pretty tough customer. I hope you ain't been telling him no fairy tales. There ain't no fairy tale. Look. Look at this. There are hundreds more where that came from. And I'm the only man that knows where it came from. I bet that's worth $2,000. More, much more. You sail with me, Chiquita. You could have a rope of pearls down to your knees. Well, one down to here wouldn't be so bad. Oh, that's the kind of breaks I get. I'm going on a cruise with a friend of mine, Bucko Larson. <laughs> but I don't expect no rope of pearls. You? Go to sea? Sure. Anything to get away from this place. Hello, Bucko. Hello, Ruby. We were just talking about you. Me, Mr. Farrow. Captain Larson, Mr. Williams. How do you do? Mr. Farrow just showed me something that would knock your eye out. Hey, show Captain Larson that pearl, will you? Hmm, not bad. That's a fine specimen. Mr. Farrell is partners with Black Mike Rafferty. Oh, not Black Mike. <laughs> yeah, sure, they're going on a cruise together after more of the same thing. Mr. Farrell knows where there's a hundred more like him. <laughs> I thought Black Mike had some sense. Every stranded sailor on the beach knows where there's a fortune in Peru. Yeah? Where do you think I get this one? Oh, you probably stole it. That's right. From the only man in the world except me that knew where it came from. Me and him were shipmates together on a schooner that got blown off her course in the South Seas. We put it in an uncharted island down at... Well, somewhere south of Pango Pango. That's where this came from. But she was a bad luck ship. 
Fever broke out on the island, knocked half the crew flat. We put to sea with only me and him fit to stand watch. And a squirrel came up and tore his sticks out of him. We got away in a dory, me and him in a pearl. But one night, there was only me and a pearl. <laughs> Black Mike, huh? And after you went through all that, just too bad. Goodbye, Mr. Farrell. Goodbye. What happened what? What's the matter with Black Mike Laughlin? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Except that he'd steal the pennies off a dead man's eyes. No, but he can't steal from me. I get 25% of the profits. What? Only 25%? Well, there you are. Yeah, but he puts in the ship and the stores. Yeah, but I'd give you a third. A third? You say you're sailing with Captain Larson? Sure. When? Well... But tonight. Yeah, sure, tonight. Look. You said a third, didn't you? All right, I'll sail with you and Ruby if you promise to go where I tell you to. Okay, it's a deal. You can thank your lucky stars you're signing on with a gentleman instead of that double-crossing Black Mike Rafferty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a drink on it. Hey, <laughs> oh, hello, Mike. <laughs> what are you doing with this, Bill? Oh, you know my partner, do you, Mr. Farrell? Your partner? Yeah. Uh, we're going after pearls. Here, show him that pearl, will you? Why, you slime-covered double-crosser. Oh, I wish I was sure of where we're going, the shield, or what she's doing. We ought to be sighting Manoa soon, huh, Manuel? Sure. Today, if the breeze holds out, maybe tomorrow. Your know, Larson's getting kind of worried, because we've only got enough water for another week. <laughs> but like I keep telling him, you ain't the one to make a mistake. Hey, let me see that pearl again, will you, huh? Sure, Chiquita, sure. Every time I see that, I feel better. It'd be an awful shock to me if those others ain't there. Plenty there. Wait till we get to Manoa, you'll find out. This may be just a pearl to you. To me, it's a carriage in the abundant Shanghai. With a couple of black horses and a parasol out behind. And me there with you, Chiquita. With a black silk hat and a big cigar in my mouth. Diamond horseshoe in my necktie. Maybe we better have four horses in that carriage. No. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like a greenhorn making his first landfall. <laughs> look, Manuel, go forward and keep a sharp look out for that volcano, will you? I can't trust the rest of them lovers. Sure, Bucko. Sure. What's the story? He says we'll be sighting Manoa today or tomorrow. We'd better. I'm tired of being a diplomat. Captain Larson! Captain Larson! There's a smudge of something on the horizon, but I can't make it out. Where away? There she lies, Manoa! Off the starboard bow. That's it! Come on, tell you! There she is! Manoa! How do you know that's the place? How do I know? That smoke is the volcano on Motuatua. Sure, sure. I give you the light. 
latitude and longitude before we leave Singapore, didn't I? We're at it, ain't we? Yeah, we're at it. It's only a volcano, all right. And the pearls are there, too. <laughs> didn't I say you were a great navigator? <laughs> Let me see that pearl again. Adam is in Yeah. We're rich, baby. It ain't fair. It ain't fair that I should only get a third share. They're my pearls, ain't they? I brought you here, didn't I? I ought to get at least half. What do you think, Williams? I think you ought to give it to him. Well, I'm the lad that'll see you get everything that's coming to you. <laughs> Accident if I've ever seen. I wanted to throw him to the sharks ever since we left Singapore. Wouldn't surprise me, none of the sharks threw him back. <laughs> I thought you was gonna claim he pulled a knife on you. But I hollered man overboard, didn't I? And loud, too. <laughs> Lay your course by the smoke! By the smoke, she is, sir! Give me that glass. Thank you. 
headed this way, sir. Shall I break out the rifles? Yeah. How many times have I got to tell you? Natives are like kids. You got to play with them. Rifles is no good for coming in anyway. Only for coming out. Chief, I'm Captain Larson. Shake. Shake? Sure, shake. Oh, shake. <laughs> oh. Stout fella. Uh, this is my mate, Mr. Williams. How do you do? Mr. Grimes. Mr. Forster. Shake. Uh, you shake. <laughs> well, hello. This is Miss Taylor, uh, a passenger for Shanghai. Shake? Your skin is white, like a cloud. And your hair is golden, like the sky at dawn. Well, it's been described before, but not like that. I did not expect to find a woman aboard. Oh, you're quite a surprise yourself.
need now is divers. Kahani will see that we get them. So be nice to them, like I told you. They're just like kids. I get it. You want me to mother him a little. Don't you, I dance for you. Glad heart makes glad feet. I am happy you came. You don't know how happy I am to be here. This island's the first thing I've sat on in weeks. <laughs> it hasn't rocked. You are the first white girl I have ever seen. Now I know why my ancestors believed that the first white people that came to Manoa were gods. Well, if I waited all my life and then got me, I'd be kind of disappointed. You are beautiful. I've been looking at your bracelet. That's beautiful. Pearls, ain't they? Yes, you like it. You mean you're giving it to me? Among my people, if you admire something, it becomes yours. Well, it's a nice custom. surprise party? Neither did I. I thought we were going to have this rock to ourselves. Forgive me, Chief, for being late for dinner. It's the usual custom in the world I came from. You can't expect me to forget all my bad manners in nine years. <laughs> this is our white brother, Dinsey, who came to us many moons ago. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting to see another white man on Manoa. That makes us even. Neither was I. I haven't laid eyes on a white man in nine years. Thank heaven. There's a nice hat for you. Now, look here. Now, don't crowd. There's plenty of presents for everybody. <laughs> here you are. Would you like another one of these? Here's some no. for you. You like that? No, no, no. That is too small. No, me too big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know, crowd. <laughs> you like that dress? Yes. You may have it. Present? Well, practically. Is this your boy? He looks like a good swimmer. Like a fish? <laughs> oh. <laughs> For nothing? Or maybe you can show us how good you can dive. I knew them cuckoo clocks would knock them dead. <laughs> <laughs> My people, thank you very much. Oh, that's nothing. Falona, Captain Larson has given us many fine presents. We can show him we are grateful. He needs divers for his work. Diving is not work, it is play. I will <laughs> dive. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to work? Mm -hmm. Beware of Greeks bearing gifts. Not a bad trade, pants for pearls. Oh, there's nothing like making folks happy. They were pretty happy before you came. Oh, they're just like a lot of kids. You know, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for kids. Is there a soft spot in your heart? How oh, interesting. He's storing up air.
out of a million oysters. All we get is a dollar and a quarter's worth of seed pearls. What makes oysters so stubborn? Think when you stick a knife in them, they're open. Look at them sneering at us. Oh, I'm getting so ashamed I can't look another oyster in the eye. We ought to go back and die for Pharaoh. Hmm. According to him, every oyster had a pearl. Yeah. Oysters like to make it tough. First, unless they've got a belly ache, there's no pearl in them. And if there is a pearl in them, they sneak out into deep water and sulk. There's only one thing to do. We've got to move into deeper water. Right? Right. right. Beautiful, ain't it? Like a ladder all the way up the sky. It's called the Fountain of Tears. Tears? Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's the first time I've heard that word since I've been here. It's a legend. Two old warriors who had always hated each other met here over the grave of a friend. They wept and their tears washed away the memory of their hate. Then they wept again. Why? Because they lost a friend? Oh, no. Because of the years they had wasted on their hate. Paley caught those tears and imprisoned them in a waterfall for all men to see and understand. <laughs> My mother told me the story. Why do you look at me like that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I never heard anybody talk like that before. You know, you've got a funny way of making people feel that they've known you all their lives. You told me so much about your mother, I feel as if I knew her. Your mother must have been very beautiful. What was she like? My mother? Oh, I don't know. From what I hear, she was a lady from France who found herself in China. And your father? Well, just blame the whole thing on China. I'm sorry. You must have been very lonely, having no one close to you. <laughs> it's funny. A couple of weeks ago, I would have insulted anybody who felt sorry for me. I figured I could take care of myself. I didn't need anybody. Well, Noah is like a big family. Everyone looks after everyone else. That's why no one is hungry or, or lonely. Where I come from, everybody's so busy looking after themselves, they haven't got time for anybody else. You and Manoa make Shanghai seem as far away as the moon. of old women, when right along he's been telling me that you're the finest divers in the world. I'm not afraid. Ah, that's the way to talk, son. Over you go. No, oh no, it is too deep.
found in Homer's basket. Give me that. Look, here's another one. That shark bait fellow was right. This is where they are. Didn't I tell you we were wasting time in shallow water? Here. Just my luck. I find a gold mine, and then them babies start getting the colic. Hey, give me that basket. your boat to talk to you. We came ashore because we were worried about that boy, Hono. Yes, it's too bad. Hono's a nice boy. Maybe it's something he ate. How is he? Hono is dead. And from the diver sickness. Oh, I'm sorry. Why, I thought as much of that boy as if he was my own son. I wouldn't have seen him hurt for the world. I feel kind of guilty. Well, maybe you could do something for his mother. Why, sure. Can you give her back her son? You trust me, Chief. I'll see that it never happens again. No. I will see that it does not happen again. There will be no more diving for pearls. I have placed a taboo on diving. We appreciate how you feel. Why, sure, Chief. Anything you say goes. Shake. Well, that's that. Oh, no, it ain't. No tapu ever stopped Bucker Larson from getting anything he went after. Oh, Ruby! <laughs> what are you doing? I figured we'd be leaving, so I'm packing my trunk. Leaving? Well, what gave you that silly idea? We just came. Well, what's the use of hanging around here with a taboo on pearls? Oh, taboo? <laughs> Why, you don't think we're gonna quit on account of a taboo, do you? Hey, look at these. Sure, they're swell. That means a lot of dough to spend in Shanghai. You're a little anxious to get away, aren't you? <laughs> Look, boys, I'm a gal who believes in take a little, leave a little. These islanders are pretty nice folks. We've had a nice time. We got what we came for. So let's be satisfied and get out of here before the trouble starts. Huh? But to leave here with a dozen pearls is like owning a diamond mine and only taking out three diamonds. <sighs> Listen, Ruby. We figured it'd save us a lot of trouble if we could get rid of Kahani for about a week. By then, we'd have the bottom ripped out of this harbor. What's Kahani got to do with it? He's only one man. Well, you don't understand, Ruby. An army without a general isn't dangerous. That's it. We know how to handle the rest of the natives. If you know how to handle Kahani. I get it. <laughs> sure you do. All right, boys. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the water ride. It's like sitting on feathers. I hope they're not porcupine feathers. like an octopus. He's only being polite to a guest. <laughs> a guest who leaves no room in Kahani's house for Malia? You are jealous because none of you can ever live in Kahani's house. <laughs> oh, I feel like a water spaniel. <laughs> Awful hard saying goodbye to all this. Goodbye? Yeah. I've been so happy here. That's why it'll be hard to forget everything. And you. Why should you even think of saying goodbye? Well, Larson says with the taboo on pearls, we might as well shove off. Of course, I'll go along with him. But you are not like Larson. You did not come here for pearls. There is no reason for you to go. <laughs> you forget. They're my friends. But I cannot bear the thought of, of saying goodbye to you. Or how it would feel to see you leave me. Oh, oh you'll forget all about me. The minute that boat gets out of sight, everything here will be just like it was before I came. You'll have your people, and your father, and Malia. <laughs> if I let Larson go without me, I'd have nobody here. So you see, I got no reason to stay. I'll give you a reason. I love you. Do you want me to leave my friends for you? For us. And after they go, what? Didn't you tell me on Manoa when two people are in love, the boy takes the girl in his arms and carries her off to Matua Tua? And they stay there for a while? Is that what we would do? Yes. We would stand in front of Paley's altar to ask his blessing on our love. And after many days, we would return to live the rest of our lives together. Will you go with me? something go down the wrong way? No, the right way. Ruby, a bride. <laughs> Ain't it a scream? <laughs> Queen Ruby the first. <laughs> oh, you're the smartest dame I ever seen. You talk as if it was news. Permit me to congratulate you, Miss Taylor. You're a genius. We expected you to use your influence with Kahani, but we didn't expect a wedding. 
<laughs> Maybe I didn't either. Well, here's to the happy bride. <laughs> Any happy <laughs> return. <laughs> you know, boys, I've worked on percentage in half the honky-tonks in the coast of China. I've rolled drunks from Penang to Peking. I guess there ain't much I haven't done. This is the first time in my life I ever felt a little ashamed of myself. Oh. I feel like I'm taking candy away from a baby. Oh, <laughs> they're just like a bunch of kids. Yeah, see, there's something about our new brother-in-law. He sets a fine table. <laughs> <laughs> Help yourselves. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Malia, what are you doing in that dress? I... I borrowed it. Well, you mean you stole it? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I explained to Paley that I was only borrowing it. I did it to please you. Well, you don't please me, and you look silly. She wears them. Well, that's different. Do I please you more when I wear my own clothes? Yes. And wash your face. Sometimes when I wore pretty things, you used to look at me, and I knew you were pleased. Ah, oh, that's when we were children. May I walk with you? Well, yes, but hurry. comes the bride. I thought your friends were going to wait to escort you to the altar. But I suppose they want first chance to wish the bridegroom good luck. So what? I've got to hand it to you, Ruby. When you and Larson go after something, the sky is the limit. But I thought I'd warn you. You can't get away with it. People like you and Larson just don't belong here. Why don't you include yourself? You're here, ain't you? Sure, I'm here. But I'm wasting my own life, not hurting other people. Do I look like a dose of poison? You know, sometimes I thought I saw the inside of Ruby Taylor as well as the outside. Why, <laughs> a girl like you is usually in the business of mending hearts, not breaking them. A girl like me can mind her own business. Why don't you? Well, it's your funeral. Oh, no, it's not. It's my wedding. of my son warms the heart of an old man. But what man can read the heart of a woman? The heart of a woman is like the face of a flower turned up to the sun. In the heart of a woman is a typhoon. And yet, the gentle whisper of wind through palm trees. Are those things in your heart, my child? Yeah, sure. Perhaps you tremble because you have not forgotten the ways of the world from which you came and still feel strange among us. But do the waves ask the color of the beach they kiss. Love is like the sun. No one owns it, but everyone can share its warmth. 
go, my children, and find your happiness. my mother stood here, her hand in my father's hand, and here has stood every mother of Manoa, alone with a man she loves, and her God. Do not be afraid. I am with you. It's kind of like a church, ain't it? I have never seen a church. It's a new experience for me, too. I'm thinking that sky up there is like a lot of things I've always dreamed of heaven. High and far away. And I know if I reached out my hand, I could touch it. There is a saying on Manoa. 
Love is always the beginning, never the end. Always the new, never the old. I know what you mean. I feel clean and new. Like I'd had a bath in them clouds. I only wish I could believe it would be like this always. It will be like this always. use the white man's cover to bring them out here. But they will not dive against Kahani's taboo. How many times have I told you that Kahani said it was all right before he left? Kahani did not tell me. You're not calling me a liar, are you? We will not dive until Kahani tells us. It was quite different when you wanted our presence. Ono was not dead then, and the others did not have their bodies twisted or their eardrums burst. But I fixed them up all right, didn't I? What more do they want? They still cannot hear the wind in the palms or the voices of the women. <laughs> Mighty pretty. Poetry, huh? Eh? Throw him overboard. Left of them. Look, the 
sleep. The fever burned his body. He's very sick. I've got to talk to him. There are worse things than fever. Moku. Moku. I'm sorry to wake you up, Moku. But things are going on that you should know about. Now, now look, Moku. As an old friend, you better put a stop to this sort of thing. Larson is tricking your people just like he tricked Kahani into going away. And if you don't stop it now, your people are going to be destroyed. I will show the white men that I am still chief of Mano. Yeah. <laughs> Too. Let him come. I've been expecting him. Why, you look great, Chief. Nobody would ever believe you were sick, and you're just in time for the party. You know, all work and no play. What have you done to my people? Done? Why, nothing but show them a little fun. Ain't you the one that's always saying happiness is the only thing that counts? You have used your cursed white man's kaba to take my people away from their laws, away from me, their chief. Well, if they'd rather be with me, there must be some reason. White man, you were welcomed here in happiness, but you have brought on my people nothing but unhappiness. Now I order you to go back from whence you came. Sure, Chief. And that will make a nice souvenir when we go. <laughs> 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 Nominations for a new chief are now in order. I nominate Bucko Larson. Do I hear any objections? I've always wanted to run an island anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to look awful funny in one of those grass skirts. You dirty, murdering scum. Are you forgetting you're a white man, Lindsay? Sure, and I was doing all right till you and your thugs came here to remind me. Here, it's time for your bottle. Rubbish. I want them ready to dive by daylight. Aye. Up. I was afraid I was dreaming and this wasn't real. <laughs> then I smelled breakfast. Are you happy? Don't you know? Sometimes I see pain in your eyes. How does happiness feel? Oh, like, uh, like something in here that, that swells and swells until you know it will burst. With a little choke in your throat like you're gonna cry? Sometimes. I think I've got it all right. Happiness, I mean. I want you to be happy always. No, I, I'm still afraid to wake up. 
This can't be real. This is real. So is this. But it isn't. I'm still dreaming. Suppose I didn't love you. Suppose I was going back where I came from on that boat. Oh, no. I know you love me. When we stood before Pele's altar, I could see the glow of Pele's fire burn in your eyes. something wrong. You have your legends and we have our sayings. Common events cast their shadows before. I feel like you and me were sitting in the shadows and it's kind of cold. Couldn't we go home? But you are happy here. You love me a lot? Oh, very much. Take me home. Someone is dead, being buried. Luna, you are hurt. Yes, a giant clown. Diving for Larson. The drum is for your father. They are carrying him to sleep with Pelly. I could not go. I could not climb the mountain. Larson forced the divers to break taboo. Many others are dead. Beside Moho. Go on. I understand. Lindsay was hurt. He is at Hono's house. matter with you? <laughs> Nothing much. But I figured if I hung around long enough, I'd have a chance to talk to you. Well, let me look at that. Oh, one more scratch on an old hulk doesn't make much difference. You don't look like no scratch to me. I've recovered from lead poisoning before. <laughs> For a fellow who buried himself in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to <laughs> escape from things, I don't seem to be doing so good. Well, why don't you stop that guzzling? That won't do you any good. <laughs> I feel better already. Well, I'd feel better if they'd stop practicing on them drums. They're very emotional. You'll get used to it before they stop beating for the people who aren't dead yet. What do you mean? Those drums are beating on Manoa, just like they beat out the death of a lot of islands in the South Seas. Islands that were like Manoa. Paradise. Until white men came along and turned them into hell. Ah, oh, it's too bad. The only happiness I've ever known, the only peace, was here on Manoa. Now it's all gone. How do you figure it's all over? 
happiness on Manoa ended when Larson sailed into the harbor. Well, maybe it ended for you, but not for me. You should have learned by now. Peace and pearls don't mix. I feel sorry for you. Oh, feel sorry for yourself. It's no good, Ruby. You can't win. No? Well, maybe I can win. Maybe I found some of that peace and happiness you're always talking about since I came here. But you can't keep it. It doesn't belong to you. I can try. I learned a couple of things, too. There was a time when I thought going to Shanghai in a silk dress was happiness. Well, I was fooled. Just like I've been fooled about a lot of things. How was I to know when I started out that happiness ain't even marked on the map? How was I to know that happiness was a boy I laughed at and tried to play for a sucker? That might be all right if it was Larson's idea of happiness. Well, it's mine. I got a right to it and I'm gonna stay here and keep it. <laughs> you know, Ruby, you and I are like ostriches. Sticking our heads in the sand and trying to hide from everything. Trouble is, when you do that, you can't see what's happening to other people. Well, if being an ostrich keeps you from being kicked around the way I've been, and helps you wake up in the morning glad to be alive, and if I gotta keep my head buried in the sand in order to get everything I ever wanted, then I'm gonna keep right on being an ostrich. Well, it's like I said, it's your funeral. But wait a minute, you better take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take it easy. Oh, <laughs> it's so silly to die and leave all that. So long, Ruby. I'll be seeing you. our brother, receive the spirit of Moku, who was our father, as we place him with his face turned toward you, from whence comes all good. O oh, Pele, here upon your highest altar, we bring our chief to rest within the shelter of your eternal flame. May the earth be soft to warm you. And may your sleep be deep and unending. Keane, chief of Manoa, look upon your people who now look to you for justice and wisdom. We have honored our dead. Now we have another duty. Arm yourselves. Things are wrong, but not with me. Yeah, I know. Everything's wrong. Those drums make my blood run cold. They are war drums. More will be killed. Kahane thinks he can make war against your friends without making war against you. But I know he's wrong. I get what you mean. 
that's good enough for my friends is good enough for me. But you're wrong. What I want is too good for my friends. Long ago, before you came, Kahani's mother used to tell us stories in this room with her arms around both of us. Stories of how love came to boys and girls. But that was when we were children. You poor kid. Oh, I can't. I wanted to kill you, like you've helped to kill my people. But I can't. I can't kill anything. Oh, now I understand why Kahani loves you. He never saw you before. He saw me every day of my life. We played together, played at love, played that I was queen. But that too was when we were children. Oh, oh you poor kid. Don't let Kahani and me worry you. But he loves you, and you love him. Love? Me? You don't think Kahani means anything to me, do you? I don't know. I thought it was funny the way he came when I whistled. I was just playing with him. Like going over to that silly island. After all, I'm a white woman. Oh, it's you. Well, now you know, listeners never hear any good of themselves. Take what belongs to you and go. You mean the honeymoon's over? Go while you can. Well... That's that. I am a woman. I understand what you did. You made him hate you. Did I kill? Guess if I was a real Minoan, I'd say may all your days with Kahani be as beautiful as the flowers. But just being me, I'll say, his luck, kid. Any minute now. Let him come. I'm ready for any visitors. Another can of powder. Maybe I'd better load my leg with powder and stomp on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who's here. Well, oh, oh. just in time for the party. Here comes oh. the bride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm glad to see you aboard, baby. What made you decide to come home? I don't know. I just a sailor in me, I guess. I stayed in business till I got sick of it. So I closed the office. Well, I was coming ashore tomorrow to get you anyhow. You know, you're mighty hard to forget. Yeah? What I need now is a drink. A couple of drinks. You're on the right ship, lady. <clears throat> After the wedding, the housewarming. 
Uh, and it's going to be plenty warm here in a little while. Why don't we get out of here while the getting's good? Well, you'd hardly believe the luck. We were all ready to leave, and Bucko found another pearl bed. Yeah. <laughs> you boys ever seen him try to catch monkeys in Burma? They put something the monkey likes in a jug with a small neck. When the monkey reaches in to grab it, he can't get his fist out. And he's too greedy to let go. Well, don't worry about this monkey. When I put my fist in, I know how to get it back out again. Now that you mention it, I can see the resemblance. I bet you even climb trees. Oh, don't let them drums get you nervous. Oh, come on, give me a little kiss on account. Don't paw me, you big gorilla. What's the matter with you? Well, perhaps her late business partner, Kahane, had more finesse. You know, showed her the way to hire nobler things. If you mean he made me feel clean and decent, you're right. You're nothing but a bunch of murdering pirates, all of you. Am I the worst? Well, that just goes to show you. You can't hardly ever tell about a dame. On deck! The natives are leaving the village. They're running toward the beach. I've all hands on deck. Williams, you and Grimes, draw out about 80 yards and plant this baby. Aye, sir. You pay off that fuse. Lively does it, men. Daniels, take three men, rifles and ammunition, and cover the bow. Harper, likewise, and cover the stern. Take two of them bombs apiece, and be sure and make them both count. <laughs> The last four cigars on the ship. And I never enjoyed a smoke more. Just like the 4th of July. Savvy? Yeah, this even tastes like a firecracker. <laughs> Mr. Williams, Grimes, go aloft and keep a sharp lookout and help yourself to them fireworks. All right. White men are few, but some of us will be killed. To those who die, Tofa. Tofa! <laughs> If I hadn't been so crazy about pearls, I might have been another Admiral Nelson. Right. We must make them believe we are beaten. Fall back with the canoes and wait. 
Some of you come with me. We will swim to the boat and try to surprise them. Mr. Williams, how do things look now? I have the honor to report, sir, the enemy is in retreat. <laughs> I hope we didn't hit any good divers. the main brace and celebrate the victory. Sure, a double ration of grog. <laughs>
I saw you. You did it on purpose to save me. Funny thing is, I'm not scared. You won't understand what I mean. But you're the only white man I've ever known. One time, the rats will stay with the ship. Oh, let me go with them. I'll feel more at home. It'd be an awful big laugh in Singapore. If they knew how close I came to being Queen Ruby first. send the others back the way they came, so that all white men will remember Manoa. In her heart, she was one of us. She will rest by the waterfall with a fountain of tears to keep her grave forever clean. Man knows best. 